So I wrote this little song to help me fall asleep at night But I don't think you could call it a lullaby Oh, I tried, I tried, I tried I strangled every note in my throat Screaming as I cried Walking down the street in a town that calls itself a city. She's as sweet as sweet can be. A day is nothing to remember. Under these blue skies where she could always fly high, 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 above the boys that call her sugar. She's just out of reach in a town that would kill to be a city. She's a homicidal daydream about to be exploited. I like that. Really? Yeah, really. Really? You're not just saying that not to hurt my feelings? No, I really mean it. You're doing really good. So, which one's your favorite? What was that other one you wrote about me? Well, they're all about you. <laughs> you know, enough of this. Would you make me the happiest man in the world and marry me? I, I don't have the ring yet, but I can get it tomorrow. I swear by it. Joe. No. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's all right. It's all right. We'll always have some day, huh? How much do I owe you? It's 200. All right, well, good night, sugar. You'll get ripped out there, you know. I just want to make something very clear as far as what I want. I'm going to break you. What are you going to do? There's nothing to do. No, I'm, I'm just saying like you were saying. Depression's contagious, you know? No, sugar, I don't. I swear to God, you've been hanging around Joe too much. With all that pathetic, sadness, poetry shit. You got anything to drink? Water? You dry? I'm going to the liquor store to get a bottle of wine so I don't fucking suffocate my daughter in her sleep. You know, I can pick something up for you. I was actually kind of wondering about Did that. Did you quit drinking? Well, yeah, sort of. What do you mean, sort of? Rice. Not this. No, I'm not doing this. I'm not listening to you go on and on about your sorrow. Text me if you change your mind. Julie, wait. Uh, I was actually kind of wondering about that 20 I had loaned you. Loaned me? Yeah. You need it now? Yes. Like, right now. Julie, please. Fine. I tell you about my daughter stealing from me and you bring this up out of nowhere. Or I could get you the bottom of a bourbon or a couple of jeans. Find us somebody that knows us better than ourselves. I don't know. Come on, it's all sitting here.
Shane. Shooter. Where are you going? Can I come in? What's today? Sunday? No sugar. The date. The fourth. Hmm. It's Easter. You're short, sugar. I know. But I'm sorry. Do I pay you when I'm sorry? What? Do you buy groceries with I'm sorry? No, but. But? It's just that Stay I, focus. There, yeah. There's nothing I could do. Nothing? Don't you have an appointment at five? Yeah. Well, is that not something you can do in the meanwhile? Yeah. But sure. But it's well, it's just that I, Yeah? I, just, I don't want to. I mean I can't. Okay. I can't. Look, I, I understand. Believe it or not, I really do. Sugar, do you think I like to do this? No, I don't. But I have to. He only wants you. I'm sorry. Stop with that. Okay. Okay, Sugar. The appointment is at five. It's only 30 minutes away. It'll be over and done with the no time. So you're going, right? I don't know. Come on, take me. You're going, right? Come on, Joe. Yeah, that girl. Deal. And I'll just take this. insurance. Stop it. Hey, stop it. You'll get it back when it's over. I promise. But Sugar, you seem to be packed. And I need you at that appointment. Rex is a big, big spender. You understand. And Sugar, let me know if anything goes wrong, okay?
but you're about to see me disturb you. Your discretion is advised. Morning, Linda. Morning, Linda. Morning, Rex. How are you? Good. <clears throat> You? Oh, you know, living the dream. Linda doesn't smoke. <clears throat> so, uh, what'd you do for your weekend? Well, I just went. Take your top off, bitch! Philip, that was inappropriate. We do not swear. <sighs> you look nice. Thanks. Yeah, real fucking nice, Philip. So, how's your fiance? He's good. You know, I could swing you off your feet. I could take you away to a tower. No doors, no windows. And I could have you all to myself. Take your top off! You whore. Philip, stop cussing at the young lady. When you are in my presence, you play by my rules, mister. Understood? You're defending this bitch? I am not defending her. I just want you to respect my wishes. As long as I get to watch. So, <clears throat> Linda, what do you say? You, me, and a hardcore porn. Sure. Sounds lovely. Oh, no, no. Linda wouldn't do that. No, she, she'd probably ignore me. Yeah, yeah. She'd ignore me, and I would go back to my desk. But in this moment, right now, I feel like a hero. So, Linda, I'm just going to lay it all out on the line. From the first time, and I saw you, I knew I had to have you. And now, I have you every day, five feet away. Fuck. One second. <clears throat> Hello? Hi. Sorry, I've been a little busy. I haven't been able to get to the phone. I just... Yeah? Yeah? Do we have to do this now? Do we have to do it now? I just think that it's ridiculous. <sighs> okay. Okay. I know. I know. Bye.
Sorry, I had to see me. A little ugly. <clears throat> That's all right. No one's ugly. Bullshit! <laughs> You think that someone loves you? Well, guess what? Everyone's ugly, even you. I'm ready. Let's get this over with. We love this song, don't we?
Sugar! Sugar! Smile.